that I was always really scared about like walking. At the night or just like? Just in general, in general, not because I felt scared that someone would like rob me or anything, yeah. but because there were no, how do you say, like sidewalks? You don't know, the, uh, yeah, sidewalks. Sometimes uh, there's no sidewalks, yeah. like for pedestrians, sometimes it's scary. Thank you so much for your time again. So before we start, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Mm -hmm. um, my name is Romy, I'm 21, I'm from Austria, and I'm here because I have a friend from Taiwan and yeah. I also learn a little bit of Chinese okay. in university. I guess it's not, it's not your first time in Taiwan, right? It is actually. I've it never is the been first to time. Taiwan. <laughs> no. oh, so, what is your first impression of Taiwan? Um, I didn't think that. Well, I've only been in Taipei for two days. Yeah. And before that, I was in Kaohsiung. And in Kaohsiung, oh. um, I was surprised that that many people were looking at me because I'm blonde and blue yeah. eyes and stuff like you look that. Different. Yeah, I look very different. Yeah. And I didn't expect that many people to be looking at me. I was yeah. thinking because in Vienna, for example, there's yeah. lots of tourists and people yeah. just don't mind the tourists. They ignore them. And yeah. here it's very different. So so you do feel like uh, lots of stare in Kaohsiung, especially, or even in Taipei? In Taipei, I think not so much. It yeah. was like especially strong in Kaohsiung. And I think it's also the area that yeah. I lived in. Yeah. was also very local. Oh, so, yeah, very Taiwanese. Yeah, yeah. What about the cool places? You have a visit in Taiwan. I think that I think I have two favorite places yeah. so far. One of them was the Pier 2 in Kaohsiung. OK. That was really cool. And the other one was the, I think it's called the Museum of Modern Arts uh, in, in Kaohsiung? Kaohsiung. Yeah. I think With I, like I have the never park. been there. There's a big park yeah. and the park is really nice, but yeah. the museum itself is also super nice. And I didn't expect to see art that inspires so much yeah. here in Taiwan, because I think as a European, yeah. our- Especially you are Austrian. Yeah. yeah, and as like, I think we're very spoiled when yeah. it comes to the quality of yeah. our museums. So I was really, really surprised that I found so many great things here. Okay, so did you visit any uh, places you you think maybe it's good, but actually it's not so good? That's a tricky question. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to think about that. Yeah. I can't think because of any. I, I liked everything so far and because everything's so different. Yeah. I think there's nothing that really disappointed me because yeah. I had, I didn't have like very big expectations or anything. Yeah. I was just letting everything surprise me and it surprised me so yeah okay okay so mm, because everything's new to you right mm -hmm. so what is the biggest culture shock for you uh, in Taiwan um I think I think it's the staring oh staring okay <laughs> no, I think uh, you do uh, you do care about staring <laughs> yeah because I don't know I think I'm very conscious uh, yeah. about everything around me yeah. and like when I go on the streets and also in yeah. Kaohsiung at least in the district that I was living in yeah. that I was always really scared about like walking at the night or just like just in general, in general not because i felt scared that someone would like rob me or anything yeah. but because there were no how do you say like sidewalks? you don't know the, uh, yeah sidewalks sometimes uh, there's no sidewalks yeah. like for pedestrians sometimes it's scary yeah especially in like very local districts because there is like those little like Area. underneath the building where you could walk but there's always shops there and yeah. you don't want to like intrude and go right through the like kitchen yeah you know what i mean yeah, yes <laughs> so you always have to walk the outside yeah and then there's like motorcycles and cars coming and there's cars stopping in that lane so you need to go like around yeah. and that was scary for me so yeah. i think yeah that surprised me a lot i guess okay <laughs> <laughs> you sound disappointed. No, no, I think, yeah, because, no, not disappointed, because everyone's different. Yeah. Have you ever been to any, like, Asian country before? No. So this is the first one. Taiwan yeah. is the first uh, Asian country. Yeah. Oh, that's why you, yeah. you're so shocked. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Do you want to practice your Mandarin a little bit? Can. Can. Now, how do you Um... 
开始的时候，我只是嗯、呃、写的，写练练起的。然后我觉得现在最最重要的事情就是跟中国人和台湾人一起。不知道，呃，练练，哎，练习什么的，因为我说话的时候就会紧张。嗯 ，OK。呃，你中文学多久了？啊，学了三年了。三年了，哦，那蛮久了。那你平常跟你的那个高雄的朋友啊，讲中文的时候，你觉得都是 OK 的吗？我觉得还是很难，因为。在中国用的词和这里用的词不太一样， yeah. 所以我觉得有时候有有很多地方我听不懂。比如说，我有一个词我在大学学习的， yeah. 但是我的朋友听不懂，也不认识这个词。呃，你是哪一个词？我很好奇。啊、uh, ，是 taxi。我们学的词是打的。啊、uh, ，对，我们台湾叫计程车。对， yeah. 所以。他不认识这个词。这是一个很好的呃、uh, ，good example. 嗯、mm-hmm. 嗯 Also wondering, so once you speak、uh, Mandarin to the Taiwanese, especially local people,、mm-hmm. so what was their reaction? Do they feel really surprised about your like Mandarin ability, or they maybe assume like you are from China? Um. What do you mean? They assume I'm from China. I mean, like, as <laughs> they assume like you probably are living. In China,、oh, yeah.、Oh, so sorry, my English is so bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so you because my accent is yeah, Chinese. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 I, so I was、oh. wondering. So is anyone like? Actually, no one. Yeah. No one. They're usually always just very surprised. Like, wow. Oh, you speak Chinese. 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 I mean, I kind of expected it because I already talked to Chinese people in in Austria. Ah,、uh, yeah. And they were always very like, "Wow, you speak great," even though I just say, "Ni hao ma" or、yeah. something. But I think it's still really, really nice when you get compliments for your language because it takes up a lot of courage to yeah, speak to in speak a up, lang-、yeah. language that's, especially that's so different from the、yeah. one that you know. Yeah. So I think it's really, really. Heartwarming to hear these compliments. I guess your first language is German, right? Yeah. So maybe you could、uh, speak German yeah,、uh, sure. to the audience. Sure.、Uh, maybe someone they want to、uh, visit Taiwan, maybe、mm-hmm. traveling or even working,、mm-hmm. uh, something like that.、Mm-hmm. Whatever you want to say,、okay. because I don't know any German. <laughs> <laughs> I can say anything, and you won't understand.、Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> It's up to you. <laughs> okay. Also, hallo an alle.、Um, Es würde mich sehr freuen, wenn ihr alle nach Taiwan kommen würdet, einfach weil es hier mega mega schön ist. Achtung, es ist richtig heiß und richtig richtig schwül, wie man bei uns so schön sagt.、Um, und auf jeden Fall genug Geld mitnehmen, wenn ihr süße Sachen mögt, also zum Beispiel、um, Stifte und so weiter, Lever. Es ist es sind richtig viele coole Sachen da. Und ja, auf jeden Fall vorbeischauen da. Okay, thank you so much. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye.